Hey Bible Buddies, hope that you're having a good week this far. We're going to continue our lesson on faith. Remember, faith means to have complete trust in someone or something. Uh, on Sunday, we read Hebrews 11 and 1, and it says, Faith is being sure of the things we hope for, and faith means knowing that something is real, even if we do not see it. God wants us to trust him and have faith that he is good in everything. He knows about all things and cares about them, even our worries, fears, thoughts, and ideas. Today, we're going to read Matthew 6, 25 through 34. And it says, so I tell you, do not worry about the food you need to live and don't worry about the clothes you need for your body. Life is more important than food and the body is more important than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, but your heavenly father feeds the birds. And you know that you are worth much more than the birds. You cannot add any time to your life by worrying about it. And why do you worry about clothes? Look at the flowers in the field. See how they grow. They don't work or make clothes for themselves. But I tell you that even Solomon with his riches was not dressed as beautifully as one of these flowers. God clothes the grass in the field like that. The grass is living today, but tomorrow it is thrown into the fire to be burned. So you can be even more sure that God will clothe you. Don't have so little faith. Don't worry and say, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? All the people who don't know God try, keep trying to get these things. And your father in heaven knows that you need them. The thing you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Then all these other things you will need will be given to you. So don't worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Tomorrow will have its own worries. Jesus shows how God looks after the birds. He gives them food and a home. When we read about God doing this, we think about we can think about all the ways that God provides what we need too. Because of this, we never have to worry about anything. We can know God is with us in everything we do and that he looks after us so well because he loves and cares for us so much. God cares about what we need, what we think, and what we feel, not only now, but forever. So ask yourself, in what ways has God provided for you? Are there any situations where you sometimes feel lonely or afraid? If so, pray this prayer. Father God, I thank you that you love me far more than I can ever imagine. I thank you that you care for me so much and give me everything that I need. Thank you for all the ways that you have provided for me and for the ways that you will provide for me in the future. Thank you that I can live each day fearlessly because of the truth that you are with me in everything. Help me to be more fearless and understand more what that more that you are fighting for me. I'm sorry. Help me to be fearless and understand more that you are fighting for me because you love me so much. Amen. Have a good rest of the week.